Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about how to control the speed of the DC motor by using the flux or field. Now, we have different types of speed control method. So in this, particularly we have in series motor, in series motor, the speed can be controlled by the following methods. We have some following methods are available. So first method is field diverter control, field diverter control, especially for the series motor only, tapped field control. Third, series and parallel connection of speed control. These are especially designed for the series motor. In that first method is, first is field diverter control. Field diverter control. So, we have a, just look at here, this is the series motor. And series motor, generally, the armature current and field current all are the same. Armature and series current all are the same. So, we are connecting a, a diverter. Diverter means the current will flows like this. And we are using diverter have some resistance. RD is simply diverter resistance. What is the meaning of general diverter which diverts the current flow? So, which diverts this? Diverter resistor. Divert the current flow. So, first in this, without diverter, it is open. Generally, it is open. So, the supply current is only flowing from in this way. So, it will come soon to the again source. So, here it having the number of turns is N1 and the series flux, series current is nothing but the armature current. Here, series winding current will be equal to the armature winding. Next, if you are using the diverter, diverter means this is the diverter the number of turns will be included. Number of turns will be included, N2. Then the series current is total current into, it is closed, it is closed. So the total current is armature current into diverter opposite resistance by total resistance. Why like this? Where it is switch is on, we have two ways, this way and this way. Current will flow from these two parts. So this way and this way. So if you observe here, if you take this current and this current, second case, this current, IS2 current will be less than ISE1 current. Then automatically, by using this, some of the field is diverted so that field current is controlled below rated value. Below rated value. Thereby, speed, speed can be controlled above rated value. So here what happened? In the second case, series current will be decreases. Then the field will be increases. Whenever the field will be increases, speed will be decreases. So it will become below rated value below rated value. So we can give some relation that is N2 by N1. Initial speed by secondary speed that is EB2 by phi2, EB1 by phi1. Yes. So EB2, what is the EB2 here? We can write V minus armature current into series resistance is parallel with diode resistance, diverter resistance minus drop across the armature by here voltage minus armature current RA plus series resistance. Okay, so what is armature current here? Here our armature current is IA. For first case, for second case, it is 
I C series current. So we can give some relation and we will control the field current. Then automatically speed can be controlled. The next tapped field control. So we are giving some tapping. The first case, if you give the tapping is here, it will flows from the current like this. So here, here the flux will be more. Phi one is more. And if you take the phi, second tapping is given, we have the phi two flux is there, and third tapping is given, phi three flux is there. At the fourth flat, phi four flux is there. Phi four flux is less than phi three, phi two, phi one. Then automatically speeds will become n4 is more than n3 is more than n2 is more than n1. Here, by adding the tapping, the flux will be in this fashion and the speeds will be in this fashion. So that's why we can control all these speeds, all the speeds, okay? This is the tapped field control. And next. Next is series and parallel connection of field control. Series and parallel connection of field control. So just observe here, we are taking two windings. So we, we, are, we have the series turns are available that can be divided into two parts. Equally divided two parts, NAC and NAC. This is the first part and this is the second part. So by, you, by these two parts can be convert, connected two modes, series mode as well as the parallel mode. So first just observe here, observe this diagram here. The voltage is here, the input voltage, and this is the rated current. Here, these windings are divided, series mode. And here, these windings are parallelly connected, two windings. Then we have to look at the problem. So here, by using the series turns, then what happened? Ampere turns generated by the series turns will be equal to the series turns by the armature current plus series turns again by the armature current. So by this we can get ampere turns of the series winding Finally, series turns into armature current. This is the first thing. Now, so this is about the first case ampere turns. And what about the second case ampere turns? So, if you take ampere turns of the parallel winding, then what happens? So, parallel winding here, armature current, half of the current will be flows from the two windings, IA by 2 and IA by 2. Here, for this winding, we can write the ampere turns is like this, that is NSC by 2 and IA by 2. And second also here, NSC by 2 and IA by 2. Okay, if you find out this, you will get parallel ampere turns value is parallel ampere turns value is it will become half series turns and the parallel turns half series and parallel turns so by using this we can get some relation just take it this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 if you observe the two equations so parallel ampere turns is two times of the series ampere turns. Parallel ampere turns is of the series. So finally we can write, whenever the ampere turns is more, then automatically it will become a different phenomena. That is just the speed due to the speed due, to, speed due to the parallel ampere turns two times more than the speed due to the series amp, series because both are reverse case both are reverse case so from this you will get a relation 
the relation is like this in the two cases second case developed induced emf is eb2 first case developed induced emf is eb1 both are assume v when it is possible if the armature resistance is neglected if we are neglecting or neglected then we can write the back emf is proportional to the flux into speed flux into speed then phi 2 you know that half times of phi 1 and what about speed speed will become 2 times of first speed whenever it is possible only back emf is the constant back emf is the constant so by connecting the series and parallel connection of failure turns we have so if you compare with to dividing the turns then automatically speed will be increases speed can be increases so these are about the three types of field control one is field diverter control another one is tapped field control and third one is series and parallel connection of series and parallel connection of field control okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you